time, the scrutiny continues to grow over the police response at Robb Elementary in Uvalde. It's now been 48 hours since this hallway surveillance video was leaked. The footage raising more questions and fueling more anger. Meanwhile, in the wake of the Uvalde tragedy, there is a renewed push to better prepare for active shooting scenarios in schools. KPRC2 Investigates was invited inside this training session that you're about to see here, where school staffers trained by law enforcement were put to the test. And Investigator Mario Diaz was there for that intense training in Round Rock, and now he's live in our newsroom with an inside look at those exercises. Mario. Keith, we have seen school districts, police departments in recent days conduct active shooter simulations on campus, but the one held by the state in Red Rock on Monday was much different, focusing on the growing practice of law enforcement trained school marshals. A thunderous gunshot, <laughs> piercing screams, an active shooter taken down. But watch what happens next. The people who initially took out the shooter in a school active shooter scenario are school marshals trained by the Texas Commission on Law Enforcement. The school marshals are civilians who are highly trained to step up in the role that they would have if they had a peace officer there. School staffers providing an immediate response. Currently, there are 256 marshals in Texas. Again, not law enforcement, but school staff with 80 hours of physical and psychological training established by t -Cole policies. The state sets a, a, a criteria for what the person must do, and the district has to have the personnel that meets the criteria, and then they put them in that role. Marshals require not only a distinct drive, but the ability to save lives when they are in the balance. We would not want somebody armed in that situation uh, who doesn't have uh, the drive to potentially use deadly force. As for how the massacre in Uvalde has changed the program's training? We have not modified the training based on what happened in Uvalde yet. According to Solomon Cook, president of the Texas School District's Police Chiefs Association, interest in adding marshals from various districts has intensified, intensified post Uvalde. Currently, only 62 out of the state's 1,026 school districts have school marshals. Live in the newsroom, Mario Diaz, KPRC2 Investigates. School safety top of mind for parents and all of Texans, Mario. Thank you, Mario.